Staring out the window. <laughs> Reaching for a next time. To the limbo, stuck here in the middle. You tell me that it's simple, but I could. Hello, guys. It is currently 6:58 p.m. on Friday, April 1st, and I'm about to embark on one of the most insane weekends I think I'm gonna have in my entire life. So let me give you a little bit of a backstory. Duke is a huge basketball school, and we have a really, really good basketball team. And honestly, our entire school spirit surrounds Duke basketball. And this year, we got to play in the NCAA tournament, so that means there are four teams left, so we are in the semifinals. And this year, it's especially special because we are playing against UNC for the first time ever in the final four. So for those of you who don't know, this is a huge deal because Duke and UNC are rivals. People would say that Duke UNC is probably the biggest rivalry in college basketball. And, and a month or so ago, we had the Duke UNC game on Duke's campus, but unfortunately we lost to them. And we thought that would be the final Duke UNC game that Coach Gay would ever play. But that is not the case because tomorrow Duke is gonna play UNC again in the final. TLDR, this game is a huge deal and it's happening in New Orleans and Louisiana. The reason I'm telling you this entire backstory is because in two hours, I will be heading on a 16 hour bus ride from Durham to New Orleans to watch this insane Final Four basketball game. Here's the most amazing part. I only had to pay $20 for student tickets and $100 total for transportation and hotel fees for this entire weekend. Guys, guys, it literally can't get any better than this. So basically the process to get a student ticket to this game was a lottery system. We had the opportunity to line up to enter the lottery um, and have our name in the system where they would choose 700 students to get these $20 tickets to be able to go to New Orleans. It was one of the lucky 700 who got picked to go to New Orleans. So these past 24 hours have definitely been surreal for me from getting the lottery ticket number to having to figure out um, how I was gonna get there to realizing that I had the bus option to now being two hours out from actually traveling to New Orleans. I'm just at a loss for words, regardless of if we win or if we lose, of course we're gonna win. Regardless of the outcome, this is going to be one of the greatest memories in my life. So with all that being said, I wanted to bring you guys along to experience this crazy weekend alongside me. Still have a bit of packing to do, so gonna finish that up to get packed, get changed, get ready, and get in the mindset to win this national championship. Let's do it. One of the cool things about going to a rich school is that there are a lot of resources and a lot of things that the school has that you can borrow. So for example, I checked out this GoPro from the library. I personally don't have a GoPro, but I think this is gonna be insane for being able to film the actual game itself or because it's so much easier to carry around um, as opposed to this sit down. Let us see what is inside. Okay, yeah, amazing. This outfit is definitely not gonna cut it. So let's change it into something more comfortable. So this is gonna be the longest bus ride that I've ever taken. I think it's 12 hours from Durham to New Orleans, stops in between, so it's estimated to take a total of 16 hours. So you know I gotta get comfy. I just have on this very casual top as well as these Duke sweatpants. This is my fit for the ride. There's one more thing which is super essential for a long bus ride, which is a lot of snacks. So let's go to the student store and get some snacks. Let's go. So I went to get some snacks, came back with some apple rum raisin bread. Definitely unnecessary and I almost downed all of it. Just looking around for things to eat and then it caught my eye and now I'm just eating it even though I'm not hungry. Got a few protein bars because I think these are easy to eat along the way. Just had to get some gum as well as some candy because I know I'm gonna need it throughout the way. But yeah, that is my little snack haul. Gonna get a few last minute things done and start heading out to the bus. Like that, we are on our way to New Orleans. Let's go.
We are in Mississippi. <laughs> um, we are like two hours out from New Orleans, but I think we've drove past like five states, which is pretty crazy, but we are almost there. We made it, made it to Baton Rouge. But the hotel isn't ready, so we're gonna walk around, probably get some food before. But yes, 16 hours down. the game very exciting but also a very very disappointing outcome definitely not what we wanted but definitely a surreal experience nonetheless i think this is a day that i will never forget for the rest of my life yeah drove 12 and a half hours here tomorrow morning at 12 a.m we're driving 12 and a half hours back to durham it was a fun little trip and yeah i'm just gonna be forever grateful and forever feel lucky to be able to be part of this important moment in history so so yeah definitely a bittersweet ending but i'm glad i was able to be a part of it it's been a very very long day very tired so so i'm gonna shower change and go to sleep now but yeah peace out i will see you guys soon bye